Welcome to the Arduino Project Servo. If you like our videos, feel free to give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel as we will be doing a lot of Arduino projects. So the things needed for this project is one, a servo and three mail connectors, black, red, and green. Make sure the connectors have mail on both sides. And this is what our servo looks like. Connect a black wire to the brown wire of the servo. Connect a red wire to the red wire of the servo. And connect a green wire to the orange wire of the servo. On the Arduino, a green wire goes to pin 9, a black wire goes to ground. The red wire goes to the 5 volt pin on the Arduino. So now let's do some coding. We first include a library. Remember to install your library. I will give you a link on how to install a library on the Arduino. The next line is like creating our own command called servo. So servo is the library. And you can see we type my servo, which we're identifying it as my servo. In this case, it is an object. Now we make an integer called POS zero. Now let's go to our setup. On our setup, we use the serial port to communicate, and we set that at 9600, which is 9600 baud. So we're using the library called my servo, and we are going to use pin 9. So now let's look at the code in the loop. We are going to use a for loop to go from a position of zero to 180. So our maximum will be 180. It will spin that direction and we're going to increment it by one degree. So we put braces around what we are going to do in that for loop. And inside of that for loop, we're going to do steps of one degree. So we say my servo, which is the library, and we're going to write that position to the servo and we're going to put a delay so you can see it move kind of slowly so now we do another for loop because after it moves it has to return back we are going to begin at 180 degrees and then bring it back to zero. And we're going to be incrementing by minus one. So in the braces, we run the library again, and we write to the servo the position. And we're going to do a delay. So now you can take a look at the code and pause the video. So now we're going to send it to the Arduino. 
And as you can see, there is an error. And it's because I forgot to put the parentheses after the position on the second for loop. So now we send it to the Arduino and now we can see it operate. So as you can see from this video, the first for loop spins it 180 degrees one direction. The other for loop spins it 180 degrees the opposite direction. If you liked our video, give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel as we will be doing a lot of projects on Arduino. And we are building a library of a whole bunch of projects for Arduino. And you can always look up the code and verify everything and look at it on the video. I will put the code in the description also. So take a look. Remember, keep on learning.